This is the third and last part to the artificial idiocy discussion on Windows, Apple, and fanboys and the like. Now, the fanboys part is what's actually in this part of the episode. So, we just talked a bit about, you know, the PS3 360 and whatnot. So, here's what Atobi Sama and I, Kwan Sai, had to say about it. Very expensive. I guess it is. It is sometimes cool when you buy it. It's like the PS3. It's like, like they give you they give you an iPod like with it. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a lot to this where you know there's a lot that you get only with the PS3. The same, same you'd find with any it. console. <laughs> uh, nah, I don't find it so much. Yeah, I know it's all. Uh, there's always it should be right. It's the same. It's the same uh, fanboy wars, whatever. <laughs> That, that we have here. So yes, you know, you can have unreasonable There's, reasons yeah, to each, prefer each, something. You know, everything has its cons and pros or whatever, it's just that I tend to prefer the pros of this product more than the pros of that product sometimes, you know. So it hmm. depends on the people. I mean, some people, you know, they like the pros of the 360 much better. No, people focus, on, people. The, focus on the differences when, like, everything's largely the same. Well, that's true, you know. People will people have an Xbox and they play Halo on it, but everything else they play is a multi-platform title, <laughs> you know. So Same in the extreme, we're saying they just bought it for Halo. Yeah. You don't have. Mm, it's hard. To, yes, the same could be said for the PSV, but it's hard to say that because where was that one game that like oh every owner is playing right? We don't have that, and I think it's a good thing. I think every. I think you know. For one, it pushes, it keeps pushing Sony to try to find that game, so they keep getting all kinds of great new ideas. Well, you know, as long as you know. people who, I know some people, you know, who only ever played like, uh, I don't know, Little Big Planet on PS3, and that, and every other game they play on PS3 is multi-platform. You know? Yeah, that's well, that was the first. That's certainly the most success they've had with like that game. That's like this only possible on PlayStation. You got to have the PlayStation for it, kind of thing. It really should have done a lot. It really should have done a lot better, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the the, the two, it's, it's always like the two competing things. The game's too like, cool. Like so many similar things about it, and then you know, it's really not that different when you when it comes down to it. It's just you know, one little preference makes us, you know, like one product more than the other, or like one party more than the other. Like you know, that's how it is. I don't sure. think there's anything wrong with it. It's just how we are. Well, for me, I can never accept the Xbox until they drop Halo, because it always seems well, like, <laughs> yeah, it's it's more it's the more successful one, but it always seems like all that success is just due to Halo. It's like, you know, because now I had just been thinking about this. Think of all the, you know, all the all the series that used to define the PlayStation brand. You had all of Capcom stuff, and then you had Final Fantasy, and you had Metal Gear, and like, you know, none of that stuff's PlayStation just PlayStation anymore but it, you know are, are we say does the PlayStation brand like die out for some reason it's it's competing you know on par with Microsoft but think think about it what if oh no Halo's multi-platform it would be the end of the world you know that's why I say it's not it's not a good thing to have this one this one brand that defines a whole system but I mean, why I mean, have that why have not, to deal with that Oddly enough, I'm defending the 360. Yeah, hope, hopefully, hopefully not. But I mean, I w I do want to see more games there. You know, I'm always well, just mean, following the, the games. They're still, you know, like Gears is a big, big brand for the, the system. It sold more than any 360 game out there. You know, I mean, PS3 game out there. You know, so mm. you know, yeah, it, numbers. It, <laughs> yeah, right, right. You know, it, with numbers. I know, I know, because it doesn't matter. They can have the mainstream titles and sell a lot, and that's good for everyone, really. We can't complain about it. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, people who are, you know, more into those types of 360 games, you know, it's great. And and for, yeah. like, uh, it's, it's also I think a great it's... place for, like, indie games, too, because it's, you know, with the X and A, and, it's, and the, the platform is a lot like PC development, so there's a whole bunch no, of... I've definitely done a lot of good stuff for casuals and independents and all that, so yeah, they made it, they're really People making it into a computer. People would definitely prefer the 360 than the PS3, you know? I mean... Yeah, no, there, there's... I, I certainly agree that there are plenty of reasons to prefer anyone over the other. The thing is just that... 
no way, I'm trying to re I'm trying to remember what it was. <laughs> it's like this was a big point, how do I forget it? Um Oh, it's just that it never should be an, an issue of, oh, this is better than this or better than this or, you know, well, even that we course. have to think about that either. Anyway, I just find that somehow, you know, the people that buy a, a Xbox versus people that buy a PlayStation are entirely different audiences. Mm -hmm. That's, I it's strange that. how it works. Yeah, I like, who, I who like pretty Apple much everything. People who buy Windows are completely different audiences too. Yeah, besides like Gran Turismo, I like all of Sony's brands, it, it feels like, but then I look at the stuff Microsoft has and I don't really, not really a big fan of any of it. <laughs> It's just strange to think there's such a there's such a polarizing effect with it. Yeah, that, that's. Oh, I mean that's uh, that's a given. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I don't think it's it seems that obvious. Because you know people are saying, oh, there's this. You know the arguments are, you know, there's this one must play game on this side or it's on this side, but you know the games appeal to different audiences. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's no one must-play game for everyone, because no one likes the same game. Or no one, you know, has yeah. the same opinion or preferences. Whatever, it won't stop everyone from wanting the game that sells the most. <laughs> it's true. I don't know, it, it is a weird thing, though, like, when you really, really like something, you want everyone else to like it, too. So then you get all in this whole mm -hmm. bad boy mode where, like, this game is the best, <laughs> better than your game, or whatever, yeah. It happens, you know, to the best of us. And so that's how our talk went about, you know, Apple, Windows, and and the last bit about the fanboyism thing kind of thing. It wasn't really much, but it was a really interesting argument that we had. And uh, I hope to make more of these as we go. So if you like these and would like to keep more, keep on checking out for uh, other artificial idiocy videos. Thanks.